A former Irish soldier who fled to Syria to become an ISIS bride has said she wants to return home. Lisa Smith, 37, has lost her husband and is living in the Alhol refugee camp in Syria with her two-year-old daughter. She fled the terror group's last holdout in Baghouz and is one of hundreds of women and children at the camp. Speaking to CNN, she said not everyone at Alhol was a terrorist and said prison in Ireland would be no worse than her life in Syria. She said, I think that people should just realize that all the people here are not terrorists. I want to go home. I know they'd strip me of my passport stuff, and I wouldn't travel and I'd be watched, but prisons? I don't know. I'm already in prison. Smith was one of hundreds to flee Baghouz as ISIS lost its grip on its final patch of territory in eastern Syria. Irish authorities have been drawing up plans to rescue the former soldier, originally from Dundalk, the Sunday Mirror reported. She is said to have flown around the world as a member of the Irish military, including on a trip with then Tau Isaac Bertie Ahern. A source told the newspaper about the possible rescue, saying, the bottom line is she is an Irish citizen with a child in a very volatile, war-torn area. She's in a very vulnerable position and a decision has been made to bring her home. Current Irish PM Leo Varadkar has previously said stripping Smith of her citizenship was not the right or compassionate thing to do. His words came in contrast to British ministers' refusal to allow teenage ISIS bride Shayma Begum to return home. Home Secretary Sajid Javid revoked Begum's passport after she said she wished to return to the UK with her newborn son, having already lost two children. The weeks old boy later died in a camp in northern Syria, with reports suggesting he had suffered from breathing difficulties. Ems Begum, from Bethnal Green in East.